An independent variable is the factor that you change or control in an experiment. It is what you believe will influence another variable. For example, if you test how sunlight affects plant growth, the amount of sunlight is the independent variable. A dependent variable is the factor that you measure or observe. It is what you think will change due to the independent variable. In the plant example, the growth of the plants is the dependent variable. You depend on the independent variable to see how it affects the dependent variable. To understand the relationship better, let's consider a simple example. Imagine you want to know if drinking water helps students score better on tests. In this case, the independent variable is the amount of water the students drink. The dependent variable is the test scores of the students. You change the amount of water to see how it affects the test scores. If students who drink more water score higher, there may be a relationship between the two. Understanding these variables is important for conducting experiments. If you do not identify your independent and dependent variables, your results might be confusing. For example, if you forget to mention how much water the students drank while discussing their scores, you will not know if the amount of water made a difference. Visualising the relationship can also help. In a graph, the independent variable is usually on the x-axis. The dependent variable is on the y-axis. This setup makes it easy to see trends or relationships. In our water and test score example, you could create a graph showing the amount of water on the x-axis and the test scores on the y-axis. If the graph shows a line going upwards, it indicates that more water consumption leads to higher test scores. If the line is flat, it suggests that water does not affect test scores. Sometimes, there can be more than one independent variable. For instance, if you want to see how both sunlight and water affect plant growth, you would have two independent variables. Your dependent variable remains the same, the growth of the plants. When you have multiple independent variables, analysis becomes more complex. You need to look at how each variable affects the dependent variable individually and together. So to summarise, the independent variable is what you change, while the dependent variable is what you measure. By defining these variables clearly, you can understand relationships and draw accurate conclusions. This understanding helps scientists and researchers explore questions and test hypotheses. Whether you are conducting an experiment at school or reading a research paper, knowing the difference between these variables is key to making sense of the results.